we have arrived in Istanbul and are now in the process of settling in and trying to adjust to the various things that are different from what we are used to. Some good, some not so good. We are staying at an Airbnb in a neighborhood called Göktürk, which is close to the new airport. So uh, well outside the core of the old city, definitely not close to those iconic landmarks that people associate with Istanbul. But it's still a good neighborhood. Uh, everything is walkable. The subway is still pretty close by. Uh, lots of coffee shops, restaurants, bars, etc. And uh, lots of dog owners. So there are a couple of dog parks here as well. And speaking of dogs, Luna, I think, has gotten over her 21 hours in a crate and is uh, mostly back to her normal behavior, which involves spending long hours sleeping on a couch. There are a lot of street dogs in this uh, city in general, in this neighborhood specifically, and it was a little intimidating in the beginning because Every corner has another pack and the pack feels the urge to defend its territory and they always were reacting to Luna. It took us a while to re realize that they didn't really intend to attack. Maybe they were just saying hello and a little bit of sniffing noses and butts uh, puts them at ease. And uh, in fact, Luna's made a bunch of friends. They frequently we are accompanied by a posse of big dogs that uh, want to join us uh, on our walks and uh, Luna seems to be happy about it. This city is huge and, and that probably is an understatement. The distance between the new airport on the European side and Sabiha Gyokchen on the Asian side is over 60 kilometers and you know if you measure east to west from edge to edge the city is probably 80 kilometers wide huge so should we pack up put Luna in a crate fly back to Toronto do you feel like going back to Toronto no I'm okay. asking you so no, I absolutely don't. I love this place. You love the place? Yeah. Why do you love the place? What do you love about it? So I love the people most of all. I love all the dogs and the cats. I, um, the people and the dogs and the cats. You yes. Love. And then I also like that this place is where it's allowed to be. It's very, very green. I like that. Then I like all the layers of history. I like the architecture. Um, I even actually like the chaos of it. Oh, you like the traffic? So I wouldn't want to drive in it and I definitely don't like the cars but I like that there are a lot of people. Um, I guess I like the energy of the place rather than... So I don't like the traffic, I like the energy. I like that there is stuff happening. It seems as if there's stuff happening. No, I, I definitely don't want to go back. What I do want to do is, I want to find a nice home for us, someplace where the we, we like the inside of it, where the layout is um, such that you and I would enjoy living there. Um, I'd like it to be in a nice neighborhood and I'd like us to settle down there and actually start living here. And I want to learn the language. I want to learn the language as, as quickly as I possibly can. I don't even mind the traffic. I mean, I mind the fact that traffic delays us. Like in uh, I don't know, I don't think so. So I don't know how you drive in this traffic. I, I couldn't drive in this traffic. I, I would probably just die of a 
nervous breakdown 12 times a day. Yeah, no, my drive. Like yesterday, I think yesterday was tiring. The driving was tiring just because of all the rain. Like mm. in, uh, it's kind of kind of kind of like Karachi. It's fun. I think that's that's my biggest thing. That I need. I can't. Like in my mind, I don't know. Okay. This is the right place to buy, or that is the right place to buy, or this is. Yeah, there are certain areas which I'm like absolutely not, mm -hmm. but uh, it's still wide open in my mind. Mm -hmm. Certain areas, yeah, I prefer. But so for me, the bigger thing is, yeah, let's find a place and let's settle down so that the transition ends. Yeah. But also, obviously, we shouldn't rush into it because mm -hmm. whatever you buy, we'll be using it for a long time. So. So I think wherever we decide, okay, this is looking like a place we might want to buy in, I guess we should just do multiple trips to that place at different times of day just to get a sense of what we really think of it. I think we should walk around the neighborhood. Yes. Now here's another thing I've noticed in this, uh, in Istanbul, which I don't think you have probably paid any attention to, but in... Um, Canada, you never ever see anybody kissing on the street, ever. I've never in all my years of living there ever seen a couple kissing on the street. Mm -hmm. Whereas out here, we, I very often see couples kissing passionately on the, in the middle of the street. Where is this? Why don't, just, why don't we, I see these things? We just drove past a couple who were making out on but the street. But you told me to focus on the road. Yeah, you focus on the road. I will look around. We have a wonderful real estate agent working with us and uh, for the next couple of weeks we will be going neighborhood to neighborhood looking at properties that meet our needs um, and hopefully we end up liking neighborhoods and liking places in those neighborhoods so we can make a buy decision sooner rather than later.